No, I don't want the multicolor one. Mm -mm. Yeah, you just want. Moms are so one, boring right? these days. What? I know he lying. <laughs> I know he lying. <sighs> Hi guys. I know a mess. We don't have to talk about it, right? Mm -mm. I'm about to get ready to leave for work. But <laughs> I got a package. Oh. Uh uh. <laughs> really? Really? The floor sample. Okay. I'm not gonna cry about it too bad because I did get them on sale, but the floor sample? Anyway, I got some boots because I needed them, okay? And because I wanted to do a fall try on haul with you guys and announce something that I haven't announced here yet. But these are cute, right? Let me try them on floor sample though. I don't know how I feel about that. Let me see. Ooh, I'm trying to get these on is a struggle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes ma'am. Mm-hmm. My left foot is bigger than my right, so the left fits pretty good. Okay. Mm. Mm. Give it to him. Give it to him. <laughs> I used to have a pair of boots like this when I lived in Japan. I actually got those boots from a secondhand store. Hooch <sighs> out. And I wore them down to the ground. Do you hear me? <laughs> I wore them boots down to the ground. So I ended up throwing them away before we left. But these are nice. They're 100% leather. I could have got um, a seven and a half, but a seven is just fine. I'll leave the details for the boots on the screen. I got them from Macy's. Let me tell y'all what I did. Macy's had like a friend's sale or something, 30% off. And the boots were 125 or something like that. I have the screenshots on the screen. I was like, oh, that's kind of expensive for a pair of boots. In my opinion, okay, because I do have kids and a mortgage. So I was like, oh, well, you know, I'll think about getting them. And then the sale was over. And then at like 4 o'clock in the morning, they went on sale for like 90-something dollars. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get them. I went to work, forgot all about them, went back on the website at work at 9 o'clock. It was still like $92 or something like that. And then by the that evening, I tried to order them. <laughs> Child, they was back at full price at 185 I was first of all no they went to 225 I was like uh -uh, I ain't paying for that so then they went back to regular price at 185 so I ended up going to the Macy's store that following weekend and showing them the screenshot that they were on sale because I tried to call customer service customer service was like we ain't never seen them boots on sale it's not in our history at all and I'm like uh, I got a screenshot to prove it so anyway excuse me i ended up going to the macy's store and telling them like hey i want these boots i want to order them in store because you guys don't have them on the floor however they were on sale but they don't they are no longer on sale and the manager was kind enough to give me the sale price which was 90 something dollars or something like that so i got them on sale they're cute right i know i love them i need to give y'all update right because where have i been <laughs> First of all, remember that coach bag I told you guys about like two vlogs ago? I got it. All right, I'm in coach. These are the bags that I'm looking at. I really like this bag, but I just wish it was a little bigger in one solid color. It's cute though. And then um, they have a black. The black is cute too, but I don't want black. I want brown. Um, they have some other ones. This one is really cute too, but they only have it in the light color. They don't have a darker color. And this is more like YSO, but I'm not, that's not what I'm looking for. They have this in a brown, but it has a suede material on the side that I'm not in love with. And this reminds me of the speed that I already have. So that's not gonna do it. No, it didn't fall on the floor. Um, here is another bag. But it's much lighter and much smaller, which is also something I'm not looking for. I really do want this bag. I just think that it's too small. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what it looks like on. This is the bag. It looks cute, right? Don't mind my hair. 
Um, I don't know. I think it's cute. I love my purse. It's an everyday purse and it is what it is, right? I love the bag. Uh, what else has been going on? My kitchen. <laughs> I would like to do a deep dive, but basically I had some damage under my kitchen sink, which caused a huge problem. I had to call a company to come out called Emergency Restoration Services. Mm -hmm. They came out, they did the demo in the kitchen. Uh, my insurance company paid for it. However, their communication is very poor in my opinion. I feel like they have a bunch of different teams and none of the teams communicate with each other. That's what it appears to be. Now, I will say I'm currently in a state of cognitive dissonance because a part of me wants to talk about the details, but then a part of me also doesn't want to shame this company, considering the fact that I did have a conversation with the owner of the company, but still the lines are not crossing for me and I'm not above reproach or um, constructive criticism. However, baby, something got to be done. Anyway, I went shopping for some cabinets. Okay, so I need to go to the cabinet store. Um, my voice is all tore up because I'm sick, thanks to these kids and that raggedy school. <laughs> I know she just didn't slide up in here like that. Ooh, that was a nasty little turn. Anyway, we're gonna go look at cabinets first. I'm gonna see if I can find somebody to make the cabinets and I'm gonna see if I can find um, some standard cabinets. I took the measurements of the cabinets already. Shout out to my dad. He was the one telling me that I need to do my due diligence before I go into this store just looking aimlessly for some cabinets. So shout out to my dad again for giving me the gems because I sure was going to go into these stores like, hmm, I like that aesthetic. Let's do that. So that's a bad idea, okay? Especially because I'm a woman and nine times out of ten men try to get over on women because they think that they're slow but i ain't no slow leak so shout out to my dad because he's always there to help me i really appreciate his help anyway let me start rambling let's get into this cabinet store and see what kind of cabinets they got I guess WV Took the weave out and left it short It still look hella good to me baby. I'm your secret biggest fan of staying friend We can do it every night I need some more to jump in they have a lot of options in here. However, none of the cabinets that I measured are deep enough with my handy dandy. <laughs> Come on, Dora. So I'm gonna check out another place that actually makes cabinets. And the length is just fine, which is about 40 inches, but the depth of the cabinet, I need, I forgot, I wrote it down in my phone. All right, let's go. Wait, what? Thank you. Yeah. No. Green. Other colors. Uh, wall cabinet. Okay. And um, and the interior color is painted too. Okay. We got the concealer hinge, bomber, and the soft close. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The drawer too. <coughs> so on the mount slide. Okay. A frame and the uh, all soft close. All soft close. Yeah, okay. All soft close. Okay. This is really nice. Oh wow, that's really nice. So what is this called? This contraption, this comes with the cabinet? Um, actually not. Um, so you have to purchase this piece, nine mechanic piece, um, separately. Okay. I like that. That's really nice. And cabinet and the base and cabinet. Base and cabinet. Okay. Yes. I like that. Pull out. And okay. Then put the tool on top of it. Okay. Entry. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I like normally this. Normally, come with a shelf, not a pull-out tray. Okay. With a pull-out tray, we just charge uh, additional. Okay. Yeah. I ended up finding another company recommended through my insurance, and I love them. So I'm gonna let them do the work and renovate our kitchen. But I was able to get in contact with with the cabinetry company. Long story short. 
I had the cabinet company stop by so they can get measurements and take a look at the cabinets that I need for my kitchen. The guy was so nice and patient and understanding. He did a thorough job with measuring and communicating with me. I really enjoyed that whole experience. These are the two cabinets that I like. This one is more of like a eggshell color and this is more of a white but not like pure white so i think off white okay and what's this color pearl okay i like pearl this one is extra okay okay they offer more options brown blue white gray i like the gray but my kitchen isn't gray and then this white and also these three colors that i chose from but i really like this one because it has more detail and it has brown this one is nice too and this one is 250 dollars extra all white just probably isn't gonna work because my countertops are really dark so this one that's what you call a successful consultation estimate we can talk about it in a minute let me get these kids ready for bed dinner all that and then we can talk about what you guys just saw editing destiny here i had an opportunity to go to the cabinet store i will leave the cabinet company on the screen if you guys want some renovations done to your kitchen as well however he pulled up this software which i thought was so cool of a rendering of what my kitchen will look like i did do a few modifications and the work won't start until the end of november so i won't be showing you guys what the kitchen looks like anytime soon but for vlogmas i'm definitely gonna share it and show you guys some updates and how I organize things in my kitchen to make it more functional for me and my family. However, I thought this software was so cool and innovative. Obviously, this is my first time renovating a kitchen. So having this rendering was pretty awesome. I decided I would share with you guys because why not? So what if we do like cabinets on top of the ones we have? So above there. Well, you have the 42 high, which is the highest already. Oh, okay. You know, you're not going to... Okay. anymore okay it's so hard to reach okay yeah you have a nice fit sitting but the highest is 42 high already okay okay mm -hmm. oh so what do you think has more space the three drawers or the uh, two cabinets they are about this not much different okay uh, more convenience yes very much more, more convenience. convenience okay or you can change the 24 y keep the 33 y mm -hmm. when you open the two door next mm -hmm. to the fridge for more storage okay the, the one uh, next to the stove on the left side okay for why change to the three drawers okay for the utensil for the pots pants uh, small pants okay for the pots small pots okay that will be better I okay okay yeah, yeah let's do that I like that. The utensil and the pots, pens, okay. uh, tower, everything, you know. Yeah, I and like this that. this is a small drawer right there. Right, it's when very you, small. Yeah, when you open the door, there's one shelf inside. Right, okay. Nonetheless, that is what has been going on. Also, the Christmas decorations and Target is out. <laughs> did y'all know? Wait, let me see what time it is. Okay, 7.51. Um, did y'all know that the Christmas decorations and Target is out? These days, I'm letting God handle all things above me. The things I can't change are the reason you love me. Listen, you can hear them call. Hi, guys. So I am in Target. It is two months before Christmas. But I'm here shopping. I got a few things from the dollar section already. But I'm here now looking for lights. The theme this year is blue. No, green. But I want to add pops of blue here and there. So I'm looking at Christmas lights. But the ones that I thought I wanted, they're the minis. And I don't want mini lights. Also, don't mind me. I'm in my scrubs, okay? Just got off work. So these are one of the lights I thought that I wanted. But they're mini. And I don't want nothing mini. They also have these. Which I think are pretty cool. But they're also the mini 
which leaves me in a bit of a pickle because I don't want many lights. I think I got these lights. I got those lights last year, so we'll probably go with these lights this year. Can you see those? If you didn't know, blue is my favorite color, okay? Top tier. Found them. I found them. No, this says C6. Voila. These are the blue I lights. I thought we were doing green. We are doing green, but I thought it would be nice to have a pop of color for the Christmas tree this year. You think otherwise? Yes, I do. No. We should do this one. No, I don't want the multicolor one. Mm -mm. Yeah, you just want- Mom's are like so boring it. these days. What? I know he lying. <laughs> I know he lying. I got the little girl with me and my Santa's little helper. Thanks, Daniel. Um, we're actually gonna make an advent calendar. We did I think it's, We did make one like two years ago, but we're gonna make another one this year. I think it'll be super fun. We have to have one every day because last year it was just crazy. Boy, bye. <laughs> oh, look at these balls. These are cute, but I wish it was only green. Let's see if we can find some green balls. Oh, uh, yeah, no, too many colors. Let's see. They have a solid blue, but blue is not the color this year. I'm not going to hold you. The shelves are still very empty in here because it's technically still October. But, but they have a few little... A little shum shum. This is cute. We're gonna make something like this. But on a larger scale, I found a super cool thing on Pinterest. So we're gonna make something like this where we can drag it. I, I love this idea. This is super cute. Alrighty. I think we found most of the things on my list. Let's see what else we can find in here, shall we? But they pajamas ain't hitting this year, I will say that. So we're probably gonna get pajamas and take Christmas pictures um, at the end of the month, but with Old Navy pajamas because Old Navy pajamas slap. I didn't know that. Mm -mm. I didn't know that. But now that I do know, mm -hmm. they slap. Anyway, I know I haven't been vlogging or sharing really any content with you guys recently and I do want to say I apologize, but work is getting a lot of my time and it actually makes me really sad because I enjoy sharing my life. I enjoy sharing my experience. I enjoy sharing my children a little bit and I haven't been able to do any of that because of work. So if you guys have a nine to five like me and children, sometimes creating content really just gets put on the back burner which is unfortunate but that's my life right now also all of my hobbies have been getting put on the back burner everything uh sewing cooking <laughs> all of the things i really do care about and love have been getting put on the back burner so i hope you understand vlogmas yeah yeah all right i'm gonna see y'all later bye <laughs>